welcome back to this tips and tricks video. I will show you in this video how to start in a survival mode and show you some tips and tricks. This video is mostly for those who don't have any clue um, on how to start survival mode or maybe are new to the game or just played the creative mode before and now switching to the survival mode and are a bit stuck. For example, when we finished with the crash site, what to do next. But this video hopefully will answer all your questions. If you have more, I will try to answer them in the comment section below. So, once you load it into your world, you will see your crashed spaceship right next to you, right next to the spawn. And if you take a look inside, you will see there are a lot of flames burning and you can't really reach stuff. So the first thing you should do is go ahead and extinguish the fire. And by the way, if you accidentally press one of the buttons which switches your camera, it's like a C to zoom out, an X to zoom in. You also can do that with pressing Alt and then scroll, then you can zoom out and zoom in, go third and a first person and uh, that's just side note um, then you will reach the pond the pond is right next to the crash side uh, you will see a small bucket standing here you can pick it up with a holding right click right mouse button and then what you want to do is basically go to the water fill up your bucket and then walk back there and throw the water into the flames to extinguish them uh, small tip before you do that, just go ahead and plant some crops. You will also see there's another bucket here, uh, which you also can fill up. So that makes stuff easier. And then you see the little farm, which is pre-built. Um, you can see it has a little wheelbarrow. By the way, you can remove these panels and the wood from this farm here. You can go ahead and press right mouse button to remove all of this. And we also get this net block. There is a little board which shows you what to do. It's basically what you want to do if you start a, a new farm. You want to pick, pick up the soil or the soil bag and then you can place it on the ground. Um, you can't really put it on your own creation because as soon as you put it on your own creation it's the soil bag and not the soil itself. But once you have this you can place it down like that with the left mouse button. Then what you want to do is get some seeds. So we have some carrot seeds, for example. Let's place them with left mouse button. Um, and then you go ahead and get some water from the pond, throw it onto it, and then it will get watered. Um, also, what you can do to speed up the process of growing is to get the fertilizer, which also stands uh, around here. And then you can go ahead, fertilize it, and we will see these weird green slime bubbles um, and that will speed up the time and the, the growth of the, f uh, the plants. What you then want to do is just wait until they grow up. Don't go too big for the starter base or for the starter farm because if you build your farm too big the farm bots will uh, attack but that we will uh, talk about later. Um, okay so now we have um, to fill our buckets and then what you want to do is run back to your crash landed rocket or spaceship and once you are inside your rocket what you want to do is basically just toss the bucket onto the ground and extinguish all the flames <laughs> be careful to not step into the flames and that you need to do a few times so once you get rid of your burning inside of the spaceship you will see there is this weird battery holding thingy right here and a little graphic which shows you okay you need this battery to place it in here to in order to get your ship up and running. You will find this thing if you follow the dirt path on this construction here. And on the way you can just go ahead, use your sledgehammer and open this kind of loot crates. Uh, but just by hitting him with left mouse button just swing it and then it will open uh, and you see you get some stuff. And another quick tip is it says that you have to pick it up with right mouse button but also pressing E does work which I personally like more. 
Now that we picked up a few things, we already spotted our first little enemy, the first bot here. And he saw me, so now what he's trying to do is trying to kill me, attack me. What I can do is just swing around with the sledgehammer and walk backwards, which is most efficient because the range of the hammer is pretty high. And that is a neat little way to don't take any damage or not as much damage as you would take if you go close quarter and close combat. Um, but if you just walk backwards, maybe a bit sideward, uh, sideways and then just swing the hammer, it just basically will hit the thing without the bot hitting you. So one thing I did forget to mention is basically if you have these hay bots right behind you like I do, just toss a bit of water into their face like that. That will temporarily disable them. But you see he will get back on their feet uh, pretty soon, but you still have more time to get them and kill them. To get to the battery you need to follow this path up the construction. Make sure just to not fall down because you can take fall damage and if you walk along this weird pipe you will see even more farm bots. Now you see the first metal things. You can press E to refine it. That is the way to get scrap metal, which you need in a lot of crafting recipes. Just hold E. You can also click right mouse button to pick it up. And uh, left mouse button to place it down. You can also just with Q rotate. And shift Q to um, rotate in the other direction. So if it stays up, shift Q, place it back down. But for, for the start, just refine it. So, and as you saw in the background, you already uh, have our first battery. Um, just walk up this pipe, go through the store, and then you will see it. We have a lot of uh, loot boxes around here. Let's just pick them up. There we go. And what you want to do is basically go ahead, press right mouse button, then you collected it. Uh, tap or B for backpack is to open your inventory. You can, you can also see these categories where you can just search your tools or just search here battery then you see ah okay I got one then you can left mouse button track and drop your stuff into the hotbar um, if you don't want it in your ba uh, backpack you can just go ahead and drop it right next to your backpack and then you toss it out that also works for the buckets but if you want to uh, don't have the bucket around and you want to place it on the ground, press F. F is the button to force build stuff, which uh, normally doesn't get placed like that. Okay, so we have the battery, we have um, a few components, which means we need to go back to our spaceship. You can find it with this uh, because of the huge smoke pillar climbing up into the sky. So I'm back at the spaceship, we can see it's uh, pretty dark and up there in the corner, in the top left corner, you can see the, the time, that's the current time in game, one day equals 25, uh, 24 minutes, so one hour in game is one minute real time, and okay, so to light up this place and make it functional, we want to go ahead and use this battery. We, we just picked up from the crash or for this from this weird construction site I guess and place it inside of this holder and then you will see okay we have light our first little craft bot is active he's working and I still have no idea what that is um, maybe it will get some use later on by the way um, if you want to set your spawn point you just need to go into the bed you can't sleep at the moment but as soon as you went into a bed your spawn point is set if you die you will respawn here and if you die all your loot from your inventory basically gets put into a little backpack um, and then you can go ahead and pick this little bag up or basically open it and then collect everything from it okay so we're inside our little ship and maybe we want to go ahead and build our first little car then just go ahead to the craft board and take a look at these items you can build you can build a scrap engine scrap seed um, that's like a passenger seat then the tires 
our wheels and uh, some bearings we need them and those are basically just more building blocks but how do we get blocks like wood what you want to do is find a tree basically that's it like this tree should be fine just hit it with your sledgehammer and hit it as uh, until you see like this type of log this if you press E to refine will get you 10 wooden blocks as you saw uh, as you can see at my hotbar I already used the night to get even more resources the time when you do collect your resources and drop down trees and use your sledgehammer and run around you will get hungry and thirsty and then you can go ahead and drink for example this sunshake which will fill up your hunger and thirst bar and also eating like these fruits you harvested from farming will help um, and you can also I think if I remember correctly you can find yes some of these sunshakes in your bathroom along with this fuel canister and we found some more fuel in one of these loot crates so what do we need for our first little car let's say okay we need four wheels because we want have a normal car and then we can create a wheel and craft that here we need some we need 20 wood and five metal and during he is building us <laughs> um, our third wheel we will pick our uh, pick up our second wheel from our little wheel barrel back here so we can go back to the farm and basically use everything here on this wheel barrel and use all the parts and remove them with right click maybe use them later on for our first car and as we can see our crops did grow and that's how they look when they are ready then the prompt says okay right mouse button to pick up and you will see that we get um, some carrots and also we should get some carrot seeds i think okay, well never mind um Okay, sometimes you do get seeds along with your fruit um, but we have here a lot of seeds and that should be fine now we are here back at a spaceship and we are ready to collect our wheel now we have three wheels and what we need is fourth one what we also need is one scrap engine one driver seat six bearings and a connect tool now i do have a problem i don't have any more metal um i don't have it anymore because we already used it for all the tires and stuff so what we can do now is just walk along the street and we will find some farm boards and just follow the street or this dirt path as you see we followed our dirt path to our site where we got our battery and we can see this next weird looking construction we will take a look inside of this construction to maybe find some enemies and get more resources okay so now we are in the construction site and we'll see here some more items some more loot boxes to kill and a lot of our bots we have a lift in our inventory we can just use the lift to get up one floor i think it should be fine if it is not, then you can just go ahead and take, for example, your wood. And then you want to drag and drop with your left mouse button to place the blocks. For example, just drag it down a bit and then press Q a few times until you see the cross uh, like in this direction. Whoops, well, never mind. Do the same from down here. And we get the lift down. Normally, it's like the arrow key up and down. I rebinded the keys to my mouse and then let's get up even one floor here you can just jump and then place the lift underneath you that's how i did it here here we have a ton of more loot and remember to check back um every now and then in these um in these buildings because the loot does respawn every now and then now we're done here, what we can do is use the right mouse button to remove our blocks we just built and we'll fall down. Oh wait, wow, we got knocked out, nice. 
wait a few seconds and we will be back on our feet remove this and then we will head back to where the smoke is that's where our rocket is okay so if you're on the search for some resources and you find these burning trees you can also chop them down these will give you ember which you also will later on need for example i think it was for glass okay so a brand new day starts and we are ready to build our first car I have some tires, we have the bearings, we have the driver's seat, we have the gas engine and we have the connect tool and we need the lift. Um, we could go ahead and use this material, the, just the, the raw wood basically you get from the trees but the big disadvantage is as soon as you place it on the lift you can put it back on. So if you go ahead and say okay I wanna build my car that, that take that as a base and use that as a rim for example then later on I can't pick it up with the lift so you could do that but I would not recommend you to to start basically building our car a lot of you have already done that I'm pretty sure but for those of you who are new to this game and don't know how to connect stuff I will quickly do a small vehicle you can do it and um, whatever size you want and with how many wheels you want but um, this is just like a little uh, to give you an idea on how to build a car we need the driver's seat we need our engine and then we want to go ahead and build our I will take the pipes we got from the wheelbarrow and we want to build our car basically so um, what I want to do is let's extend it maybe a block further and then we go ahead and basically what we want to do is go ahead and build a bearing here this will turn from left to right and then we will go ahead and connect it place it on top of the bearing and then make it face this direction because that's the point where we want to connect our tire to like that perfect and you could also go ahead if you want could go ahead and place it underneath here the rotating bearing and just go ahead and do, do that but then you need a bit of space because if I would now go ahead and turn this car, uh, this wheel does not have space to turn left and right so we need a bit of space like we did here but I do like it when it's look like that oh wait I don't have enough pipes be right back so we got our last few pipes to build our car or the, the steering of our car and then we do basically mirror this thing we have here do two pipes then our bearing to steer then this rotating one to make the car go and then we want to do is could do so it's on the same on the same block as this tire here we can extend the back side a bit or one block and then we need more tires this one and this one and then we could use our last bearing place it here like that okay so now our car has everything it needs but the only thing left to do is to connect everything what we want to do is connect these dots together we need a connect tool which we crafted in a craft board in our spaceship and then we want to connect the green dot to the steering which is basically this and this so now we can remove our lift just press right click on the lift or what you also can do is just place the lift somewhere else and this will fall on the ground and work so the steering is inverted I'm pressing B and it steers to the left I'm pressing A and it steers to the right um, if I want to invert the steering just press right mouse button on these bearings with these these green bearings basically with your rotation tool or connect tool sorry okay next step is we connect our seat to our engine our engine to two of those parts where our wheels are connected we can say if you want you can also go ahead and make it front powered depends on what you like more we could also do that um, but the important part is that these arrows point into the direction you want 
So this turns in the right direction, but the other one doesn't. So right click on that and now everything should work. No, it doesn't. Why? Because our gas engine does not have any fuel. What we want to do is put your gasoline tanks into the hotbar, press E on the gas engine and just drag drop it here. And then it should work. There we go. You heard it start up and then you can drive around. There we go. Our first car is done. Be careful to not drive into the fire and yeah, otherwise it would burn down. Okay, so maybe we're stuck stuck now on this um, wood. What you can do is use the lift, left mouse button on the car, put it down on the lift, you can raise it up, lower it down. What you also can do is press Q to rotate it um, in any direction you want. By the way, I would not recommend you building your base here because this craft board is very limited and for more creations we need a better farm board and where to find that I will show you in a second. Um, you can also go ahead and use loot these things like this big uh, big mini chest basically <laughs> can pick it up with right mouse button and then you could for example if you want to could place it onto your car. It does work it will keep your inventory but that will make your car a bit more heavy. Um, but anyways, okay, so if we want to go ahead and find the next place where we can craft more materials, we will need to follow our dirt path. Okay, for my taste, the car is a bit slow. What we can do is press E on the engine, get up one step, and it should be a bit faster. There we go. Okay, we can see it in the distance, this wrench is where I want to go. Because that is the place we are building our base. Okay, so we're here, we're at our new future base. And... Yeah, so first thing I would recommend you to do is walk into these pipes, which are basically some rooms to go and sleep. There you go, reset your spawn point. We set our respawn point and we have another big machine and kind of tuning place here. But as you can see, this farm bot is also deactivated and requires power. And we have another battery slot again. So, where do you find it? Well, just look into these quarters here. It should be in one of them. There it is. In number two. Ooh, right next to a farm board. Come on, die, my friend. Thank you. Okay, so, we do press right mouse button onto it. And then we have the battery which we need to activate this station. And bam, there we go. Everything is up and running again. Here we have the same uh, craft board we have in our um, spaceship. Plus we have this mega craft thingy here. A mechanic station. And here we can make the better craft board. So cookpots, refinery, the transport, resource collector. Which, there we go. Our detectors are loaded. So we have that unauthorized farming thing now in our face. And there's a number which counts down. So we have 10 minutes basically now to build a little defense in order to protect our farm we can do that by basically just building for example some blocks here and there um, for example like that because now the farm bots are coming in 10 minutes like okay maybe in 9 minutes and 50 seconds and then they will attack our farm if we don't protect it so we will quickly build a bit of defense around it 
this. Oops, I like that, perfect. Maybe add some support pillars every now and then, so if it breaks, not everything falls down. So if you have a car and you don't want to lose it to farm bots during the attack, just go ahead, place on a lift, raise the lift up and then the farm bots won't get there. Hey! This guy's a bit early to the party. Now we're near the attack, just a few more seconds left. They will spawn around your farm in a bit of distance, you will see them coming and running towards you. Maybe they will also try to attack your cow, so keep the cow happy, or I mean the walker. The counter is down, there is the first, you can see them attacking you slowly. Okay, we got rid of them. Nice, we survived their attack. So, this concludes the first video, the first tutorial. And if you want more, for example, how to build a car which can cut down trees, or how to build a car which can mine stone and put that into a um, container, which then can be placed next to the refinement and how that all stuff works, then let me know in the comment section. Um, also, I would then implement in the video on the materials, uh, which materials are required for what building, um, and where to get these materials. And yeah, that will be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and tell your friends. Otherwise, I'm open for feedback, let me know in the comment section. I hope you have a nice day, evening, night, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching, goodbye.